what happened to Joseph, and then it will tell a story of Joseph. And the interesting thing about it is that these stories are presented in sort of a Reader's Digest version. They're sort of summaries of these great stories. The audience that the Quran was revealed to was already familiar with these stories because they were living in a city that was steeped in these traditions. According to Muslims, one of the most remarkable aspects of the Quran is that Muhammad memorized the revelations as they came to him and then recited them verbatim to his followers. While there was a form of written Arabic at the time, few knew how to read or write it. Muhammad was no exception. The belief within Islam is that Muhammad was illiterate. Um, what that underscores then, of course, is on the one hand, the fact that he wouldn't have written these revelations himself. Uh, on the other hand, the question is, well, how were they preserved? Muhammad's small band of followers would promptly commit to memory each new revelation they heard, adding verse after verse to a mental collection of the already existing Quran. Given the culture that they were living in, such feats of memory are not surprising. The societies that we are talking about are oral cultures. So in, in a sense, the oral culture in which Muhammad lived allowed people to listen in something for one time or even two times and have the ability to memorize that and be able to recite it verbatim. As his catalog of revelations grew, Muhammad continued to preach on the streets of Mecca, gaining a small group of converts. His followers came to be known as Muslims, which means those who submit to God. Muhammad's message appealed especially to the city's poor and underprivileged, who heard their own lives echoed